Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to explain you about your path architecture. Before we understand about the architecture, we need to know the three important components of your path. Those are studio, robot, and orchestrator. Studio is a graphical user interface used to design the automated workflows of a given business process. The automated workflows can be called as bot. Robot that establishes a connection between your machine and orchestrator. Once the connection is established, your machine can be called as robot machine. Robot acts like a listener and listens to the commands passed from orchestrator to execute the business process on robot machine. Orchestrator is a server application to orchestrate or control the UiPath robots in executing repetitive business processes. This is a simple architecture of UiPath wherein you can see the client side components and the server side components. On the client side, you see UiPath Studio, UiPath Robot, UiPath Executor, Browser Interface, and Local DB. When the bot development is done, bot will be stored in local DB. And when you want to run it from studio, your path executor component will be invoked to execute the business process. And if you have your UiPath robot connected to orchestrator, you can publish the process from UiPath studio to orchestrator as a NuGet package that will be stored in SQL DB. And using browser interface, you can access the orchestrator and you can create an orchestrator process of that particular NuGet package. In the jobs menu, you can run the process manually and in the triggers, you can schedule it to any particular time. And once the process is triggered from UiPath orchestrator, a command will be sent to the UiPath robot and that will invoke the UiPath executor to invoke that particular business process execution. And the logs will be written back to orchestrator and the logs will be stored in Elasticsearch, which is a non RDBMS. When you have multiple robots connected to orchestrator, the architecture would look like this. On the top, you see the development robots, which are dedicatedly used to configure the bots. Once the bots are configured, those will be published from development robot missions to orchestrator. And you can see the robots are grouped together in environment, and these robots are called runtime resources, which are dedicatedly used for executing the business processes. This is a typical architecture of UiPath. It's a client server three tier architecture. The server side is split into three different layers. That is presentation layer, wherein you can see the orchestrator web application user interface, and that can be accessed from browser in client side. And what are the configurations that you do in orchestrator, like assets creation, queues, and all that will hit the API endpoints. And with the help of API implementation or business logic, that will go get stored in SQL Server. And you can retrieve the same uh, from with the help of API and API implementations in the orchestrator UI. And similarly, once the process is completed, that will be published and via agent, UiPath agent, that will hit the API endpoints. And with the help of API implementation, that will go get stored in SQL Server. And you know, the logs will be stored in Elasticsearch, which is a non RDBMS and SQL Server is a RDBMS, Relational Database Management System. Now let us see a live demo on whatever that I have explained to you. This is a UiPath Studio, and I have just created a process. Now let me open the workflow to create a process. On the left-hand side, you can click on activities. You will have list of activities to design the automated workflow or to configure the bot. So I'm just going to create a simple process to show a message box to the user with the message like, hello everyone. I have just dragged a message box and I'm just typing in a message to show to the user Hello, every one. And now I'm saving the process. Now let me show you the UiPath robot agent. This is robot agent, which is connected to the orchestrator. And the same can be seen from the studio also. It is connected to orchestrator. Now let me show you the orchestrator. So once you log into platform.uipath.com, you will be landed on this page. 
wherein we have to click on the server service that is just by clicking this you'll be taken to the orchestrator so this is the orchestrator let me go to studio and first run the process that is just by clicking control f5 you can see the your path executor component got invoked to execute the process and it showed the message like hello everyone to the user right let me click ok and the process is completed and now i want to run the same process from orchestrator to be able to run this process from orchestrator this needs to be published to orchestrator as a nuget package let me just click on the publish on the ribbon that you see here and this process is being published to orchestrator after clicking this so it is getting published as a version 1.0.1 so initial version would always be 1.0.1 let me publish it since it is connected to orchestrator process will be published to orchestrator project published successfully let me click on okay and now let me go to orchestrator and that process can be seen as a package in management section packages you can see architecture demo a few seconds ago so now let me create a orchestrator process so in the automation sections click on processes and click on this plus symbol to add a orchestrator process so here you can select the package that got published that is archi architecture demo and i'll give a name like architecture demo process that this will be shown up in uh, jobs menu as process name orchestrator process name and here you can select the package by default it will select the latest package when you have couple of package published then you will see a list of packages over here and here you have to select the environment so i'm selecting my dev and click on create architecture demo process orchestrator process is created you can run the process from here or you can go to jobs menu from monitoring section click on jobs and click on start select the process architecture demo process it will show you the list of robots that are mapped to the environment of this particular process so i'm selecting the robot in real time you'll get to see the list of robots which are mapped to that particular environment okay that is my dev so let i have selected the robot and clicking on start to execute the orchestrator process on the robot machine now you'll get to see ua path component called ua path executor invoked now the command is sent and the ua path robot will listen to the command and it will invoke the ua path executor to execute the process now you can see ua path component called uh, ua path executor opened up to and it executed the process and you can see the message hello everyone and this is about the architecture of ua path i hope the session is informative if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and please do not forget to share the video thank you